Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's promo. Today we'll be taking a look at a brand new software update for the Galaxy Z Fold 2. Now this update was pushed out at least for me this morning on August 15th. Now this one does end in DUG1, but it has the January 1st security patch and we are basically halfway through August. So my hope is that after we do this update, then hopefully there's another following update to be pushed along as well. Uh, this size here is 258 megabytes and maybe sometime along you know whenever the Galaxy Z Fold 3 comes out to the market then maybe that's when we'll get the August update along with some additional updates which should hopefully push the size to be larger than 200 or 300 megabytes so really in today's video we will be trying to see if there is any newer versions with some of these services or applications it doesn't always mean that there always is but that's what these videos are for or for documenting to see what new versions are are out there with each and every update. So if you do not know where to find this update, if you go through your settings on the very top, you're gonna to go all the way to the very bottom, go where it says to software update, then you go to download and install. So we're going to install it right now, and you do wanna make sure you are connected to a Wi-Fi network, and it's usually at this point in the video where I like to state that if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy's Promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials on the latest Samsung updates or Samsung Galaxy devices, then make sure you guys hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to so get notified for all future videos. And also write a comment below the video. All of this interaction of liking and commenting also helps the YouTube algorithm push this video to more and more people. And let me know if you guys have this update yet for your Galaxy Z Fold 2. Also let me know if you have the August update and I just don't have it just yet, as well as write a comment if you plan on getting the Galaxy Z Flip 3 or the Fold 3. So once this thing powers on, we'll take a look at the, the versions of camera, the Samsung Home, as well as fingerprint and face recognition, Samsung messages, and internet. And then we'll take a look inside of the Galaxy Store just to see if there's any newer updates for applications sitting there. So the update is done and complete, and so we will be taking a look at a few different applications here, different services. Now there's no guarantee of changes of newer versions, but again, we're just here to see if there is anything so that we can get it documented. So for the camera, the original version was 11.1.0031. There's an 11.1.0031, so it is the same version for the camera. Now we're gonna take a look at home, and so we're gonna go inside of the settings, Go all the way down and so down here the original version was 121077 this one is 121077 so again this one's also the same version and now let's head inside of the biometrics and security so we're going to take a look at fingerprint and face recognition so we're going to go inside of settings biometrics and security more biometric settings and then security patch and so for this one for the finger it was 5101 this one's 5101 and then for face recognition, it was 20113, 20113, so nothing new there. Now we're gonna go inside of Samsung Messages, which I personally use Google Messages just because, uh, I don't know, it's a little bit better for me. Uh, so for Samsung Messages, it was 121511, 121511. And then now let's go inside of Samsung Internet, and, and I usually use Chrome, but let's go inside of the Samsung Internet. So this one was 14, actually it was 142314, 412314. So again, the same versions there. So there's no newer versions of everything that we took a look at. Uh, so it's just a regular security patch update. But you also do want to take a look at Samsung Galaxy Store because sometimes after a few different updates or if you haven't searched it for a while, there is going to be some updates here. So uh, it looks like that there is four of them sitting here. So you have a newer version of Clock Face, Zoom, uh, photo editor and link sharing. So we're gonna go through, let's just update these ones. Um, now, if you've never played with link sharing before, it is actually pretty nice. It's a way that you're able to transfer large files via a link. And you can also kind of set up, you know, um, how you want it to be sent, things like that. So sometimes if you try to send something through Messenger or especially text messaging, you may be sending something too large that wouldn't be able to go through. So link sharing is able to get that one done. So that is pretty much it for today's video. I didn't find anything new for this update, uh, but I do also want to take a look to see if there is the August update uh, now that July has been sent off. So let's just go through. Let's just see just in case if it was sent off today right after this update. I doubt it. Uh, but here, let's take another look. And it did not find anything other than the one that we just got done uploading or updating to. 
But that's it for today's video. If you guys appreciated it, please give this thing a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hand subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.